Yo, what's up guys, Rexer here, and today I'll be working on the, the BRZ. As you guys know, I drift this thing quite a bit, and it's super dirty right now. I'm gonna clean it pretty soon. But I drift it quite a bit, and so obviously some things are gonna become loose, and I do have an exhaust leak. It kinda sounds like popping-ish kinda noise going on. Either like my, my headers or my overpipe is definitely doing it. And go down here and look, you can see my unequal length headers and that will pour it there. So first thing I'm doing is checking this to see if it's loose at all and it feels pretty snug. So I know that's not the issue and I'm gonna go ahead and shake my exhaust a little bit to see if I can hear it. It feels pretty sturdy on there. Um, I did hear a little bit of movement coming from over here, which that would be my over pipe right there and where it connects to the front pipe right there. So it could be leaking from right there, I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna disassemble the headers and overpipe and maybe even front pipe. And basically just put new gaskets in this car. So I have new header gaskets and that's a front pipe gasket right there, just in case I'm gonna do that or not. But we will see what happens. And I'm gonna go ahead and check um, the tightness of those bolts and all that and see if everything's lined up good. But I forgot to mention that my grandpa gave me an air compressor because he got a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the bit on this because I, I obviously work at a dealership and I, I use compressed tools as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and check to see if my tools from work will fit. Would you look at that? It works. Awesome. Plug this in and use this on my cars now, which is awesome. It makes things way faster using tools uh, that I have air compressed. Also have electronic guns like this. It's a must as well. But these are like a lot of my tools for my work that I use on daily. I guess this will be the first time that I'm pulling out the roller. Now we go ahead and start taking all these tabs off down here. There's a bunch of metal ones and there's some plastic ones all over. So now that that's off, it exposes the headers, which look at that. Oh man, I miss looking at these headers. It looks so good. Look how they twist right there. And they come over and obviously uh, the other set twists over and they connect it down here over to the overpipe. That is so cool, MXP. I love this header setup that I have. If you're new to my channel, I have a MXP header, on uniform header obviously as you can see with a MXP overpipe. Uh, NVIDIA resonated front pipe things right there, and then a MXP uh, cat back, a dual cat back exhaust back there. Two fat tips. But now I can see a lot more. I'm trying to see exactly what could be leaking, which I, I honestly think my headers might be fine. The sound did sound like it was coming from this side when my car was running. So it's either this header or this right here, which they are right next to each other. Like the header part of there, and obviously. Um, this piping goes down to the overpipe. So um, it could be either of these, or it could be the back part of the overpipe, which I'll take this clip right off then, if that is the case. Wow, guys, I am in shock right now on what my uh, exhaust leak was. Good thing I checked this out, because I got my little um, super flashlight out, which you can't even see, but it's on LED and all that, it's super bright. I started looking up in there. I started feeling all the bolts, seeing if they're uh, tight and all that. And the next thing you know, I look up at my headers, in which you look at this, there is no bolt on that header. You see that? Like, you see how the other one does have a bolt? Way over there, there's a bolt. No bolt, what? And then there's a bolt right there too. I, I, I was like, I really freaked out and checked the other side, but there's all bolts in those ones. So I guess when we did the headers, me or one of my friends, because my friend helped me put it on, I uh, forgot to put a bolt on, but that is a-okay. Man, I am so upset right now. I went ahead and checked the two closest bolts to it, which is that and this. 
and they both don't fit. This one's too big, this one's too small. So I thought I came prepared with a bunch of bolts just in case if I was missing something. And of course, what do you know, I do not have the right bolt for it. So I'm gonna have to head back to Subaru tomorrow and pick up a bolt for this car. But oh well, but I'm so glad I found that ex header exhaust leak because I was not gonna do any more drifting or drift events or any type of, well, I, I still kind of was driving pretty hard, but it can make your car misfire, it can make it run bad, it can make it run lean or too rich and all that which I don't want to have any engine problems at all with either of my cars, so I'd rather play it safe than sorry. All right, I just got back with the new bolt for my headers. And apparently this bolt is like $10. I do not know why it's $10, but it is. Did I pay $10 for this? No, I did not. I would never buy this for $10. That's just ridiculous, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install it now. Yeah, I highly recommend this. I got this at Harbor Freight. You get a bunch of them for like $20. And it's basically a swivel, but it already has like a number on it. Like this is a 14 for the headers. And with the aftermarket headers, it's super hard to get in the tight places. But with this extension and just this piece, I can get to every single bolt easily. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my torque stick and I'm gonna make sure they're all torqued to spec. Yeah, so I got this uh, new bad boy right here. So I can actually, you know, torque my bolts to spec. And I looked up online and it said the header bolts are 22 torque. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it to like 24 or 25 just to be safe as I do drive this car really hard. All right, I got my torque wrench now. Gotta go ahead and torque these to 25. Looks like I already got them there, good. And while I'm down here, I'm gonna go ahead and just check um, these two bolts because I can easily get to them. I don't feel like taking all this off. Um, I can go ahead and put my hand up in here and feel the bolts to see if they're loose though. Which those bolts are definitely tight. I'll check my front pipe really quick. Make sure those are tight as well. Yeah, while I'm at it, I'm just checking every single bolt because this, this exhaust has so many bolts on it might as well check them with my hand all right every bolt has been checked on my car header has a new bolt on it and it's torqued so i'm gonna go ahead and put the skid plate back on and hopefully she's meant i guess i'm good to start it up to see if there's still an exhaust leak or not super loud so that's because my exhaust is just loud though so it is all good now it sounds amazing so that's going to do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it i love the new compressor that i got for the uh, garage and i hope you guys got something from this the best way to check for exhaust leaks though if it's not obvious like mine was is to take all the plastic and metal um under under your engine and, and you know throughout the, your entire car and then turn your car on and make sure it's everything's so cold I like don't be driving around and then do this you know and the reason for that is because when you turn your car on and everything's taken out from underneath you can easily put your hand up to all of the connection points of your exhaust system and feel for air all around it and that would be the best way to diag exhaust leak on your car lucky for me that I didn't even have to do that because I just saw that I had a bolt missing and I decided to put a new bolt in but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I can't wait to start doing more work in my garage, especially with the air compressed tools and obviously all the tools I have for my work. I'm always gonna bring them home whenever I do bigger stuff like this, which I wasn't that big, but I have bigger plans for this one coming up soon. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.